Hey everybody, Miss Negron here. Today we're going to be discussing parallel, coincident, perpendicular, and intersecting linear equations. Let's first begin to look at some vocabulary. Parallel equations have the same slope and different y-intercept. Therefore, when you graph them, you'll see that they will never touch. Coincident equations have the same slope and the same y-intercept. So when you graph them, you'll see that they intersect at every single point. Perpendicular equations have slopes that are negative reciprocals. So when you graph them, you'll see that they'll intersect at a point and they will also form a right angle. Lastly, intersecting equations have different slopes. So when you graph them, they will intersect at a point. However, unlike perpendicular lines, they will form angles other than 90 degrees. Let's begin to look at parallel equations. The mathematical no notation for parallel lines is two lines next to each other. And the mathematical notation for slope is the lowercase m. So let's take a look at the example y equals to 2x plus 4 and y equals to 2x minus 3. As you can see, we identify both slopes in the equations, which in this case, both are equal to 2, and their y-intercepts are different. So based on our equations, we know that y equals 2x plus 4 is parallel to y equals 2x minus 3 because of the definition of parallel lines, which we know equations have the same slope and different y-intercepts. After graphing them, you can also see that they are equidistant at every single point, as well as proving that they will never touch. Coincident equations now, as discussed before, will have the same slope and same y-intercept. So let's take a look at the example. y equals 3x plus 2 and negative 6x plus 2y equals to 4. Well, in order to properly compare these, what we're going to do is simplify the second equation to isolate the variable y. So we're going to do the inverse operation of negative 6x, which in this case will be addition. So we add 6x to both sides to get 2y equals 6x plus 4, and then divide the entire equation by 2 in order to get y equals 3x plus 2. As you can see, these equations have the same slope and the same y-intercept, therefore these equations are coincident. When you graph the first equation y equals 3x plus 2, it is represented by the black line on the screen. Next, if you graph the second equation, which I will represent using a blue line, you can see that they overlap, which means they will intersect at every single point. Now let's move on to perpendicular equations. The mathematical notation for perpendicular is represented by the upside down letter T. For the example here, we have y equals to negative 2x minus 2 and y equals to 1 half x plus 3. If you look at the slope of the first equation, that is equal to negative 2. Any whole number can be rewritten divided by 1 because the number will not change. Now let's look to negate the sign and flip the fraction to create our reciprocal. So if we flip the fraction, it will become 1 half, and if we negate the sign, that negative will now become positive. So therefore, the slope of the perpendicular equation will be 1 half. As you can see, the original equation, y equals negative 2x minus 2, and the second equation, y equals 1 half x plus 3, have negative reciprocal slopes. Therefore, these lines must be perpendicular. When you graph these equations, you can also see that they intersect at a point, and because I know that they are perpendicular, I know that they will form a right angle. Lastly, let's discuss intersecting equations. Our example will be y equals 4x minus 1 and y equals to negative 2x plus 7. The slope of the first equation is 4, whereas the slope of the second equation is negative 2. Because the slopes are different, we know that these will be intersecting. As you see on the graph, when you graph the two linear equations, they will intersect and the angle between the lines that is formed is not necessarily a right angle as it was for perpendicular equations. Thank you for watching and I really hope this helps distinguish between the four types of linear equations. 
please stay tuned for more videos and more support. Thank you again.